This morning, we have new federal data showing how often furniture fell and injured people, including our children. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, in 2020, there were more than 22,500 people that had to go to the emergency room because of furniture and appliance tip overs. 8,900 of those patients were between the ages of one in nine. Doctors here at home confirm yes, this is a real problem. Often they say children are caught climbing on dresser drawers, trying to get a toy or the remote. Kids love to climb, they're adventurous, um, but when you start to have those dressers that open, and um, particularly if it's top loaded with a heavy TV, all of a sudden you're looking at a setup for a disaster. In this report, it says that 50% of these injuries in kids occur in the bedroom. And so classically what this is, is putting your child down for a nap, uh, assuming they're sleeping, and then all of a sudden uh, you've got a tipping injury on, on your hands. There are three things you need to know. Number one, you can prevent this. That is number one. Anchoring furniture with straps or brackets or with appliances using an anti-tip bracket. Um, and really that's good for all ages. I just went down to the safety store at Riley Hospital this morning. For $3, you can get a, a device that straps your, your furniture directly to the wall. It's a very easy thing to do. Anchor your furniture, dressers, bookcases, wardrobes, anything top heavy. And some pieces actually come with the straps that you need. The second thing you need to be aware of are the injuries that you might deal with if something like this does happen. Asphyxia is tragic. Head injuries are common. Those can be deadly. Many patients end up too with broken bones, bumps, and bruises.